but it scared everyone. It didn't matter where you were sitting on the plane. It was terrifying because it's not what you want to have happen on any flight that you're on. Kelly Bartlett, one of more than 170 passengers on the Alaska Airlines flight bound for Ontario, California Friday evening. It's not normal. It's not what you want to see on the airplane. Says at first, she thought the hole in the side of the plane was a missing window. It was way more than the window, and I just couldn't believe it. That's when I, I took a picture and I texted my husband. He couldn't believe it. We were, this doesn't happen, right? Like... It was just crazy. It was like Jack said in his note, he said, this was unbelievable. Jack being the teen whose shirt was ripped off when the door plug blew out. He ended up sitting right next to Kelly. And once he was safe um, and he had his mask on, we started communicating through the, the um, notes app on my phone just because we couldn't talk because of the, the wind and the masks. And we tried to figure out what was going on. Kelly explained everyone remained calm as the plane descended heading back to PDX. When they touched down amid cheers, she says Jack suggested a selfie to commemorate the unbelievable situation. I was just, I felt like I say this, I say that I felt lucky and everyone's like, that's not a lucky situation you were in, but it could have been so much worse. On the ground this weekend. I said, oh, you'd be really surprised to know what I have. <laughs> People living in the Cedar Mill area north of Beaverton discovered a number of objects that fell from that flight, from a headrest. It's just odd. It's just odd. I'm glad it was just something soft, you know, coming into my backyard versus the door. To a cell phone. Funny thing was NTSB was already in the area, of course, but uh, they had just found another phone on their own. Bob Sauer, a physics teacher. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened on the street, as far as I know found the door plug in one piece. In my uh, physics A class, we've just finished talking about impulse and momentum. So that, that comes up as well. Um, the trees acted like, a, like an airbag and made for a longer stop and a lower force. Every time the NTSB asks for help, every single time the community pulls through. With those crucial parts now returned to investigators, questions remain about the Boeing 737 MAX 9. I'm very curious to find out what they determined the cause of it was. I hope that we get answers on what went wrong and why. I hope they have a plan for the future. Now passengers on that flight got their ticket refunded plus $1,500. In speaking with Kelly today, she doesn't believe that's really enough given the amount of trauma people may have experienced Friday night, David. I mean, your heart really goes out to the 177 passengers and crew on board that flight. Thank you, Alma.